In this video, we will be looking at the Aurora PVI 5000 model. Biosolar recommends checking the inverter at least once a week to make sure that the system is performing at its optimum. If you need to switch off your solar system, there is a shutdown procedure labelled on your inverter. This customer has their AC isolator next to their inverter, as the switchboard was inside the home. Generally, you will find your AC isolator switch in your meter board, labelled Solar Supply Main Switch. Switch the AC power off first, then the DC power. To turn the system back on, reverse the procedure by switching on the DC power, then the AC power. This is how the inverter will operate every day. The green power light will be on during the day when you are generating power. At night, the green light will turn off and the system will sleep for the night. If there is a problem, the red inaudible alarm light will switch on and you will see an error code in the display. If this does occur, we recommend switching the system off and rebooting it again. If the error code is still displayed, write down the error code and contact Biosolar. At the moment, the display itself is scrolling through a series of reports. You can manually move up and down to see the options. At any point, if you want to lock a display, you can press the Enter button. For example, if you want to see how much the system has generated since the installation, you will scroll up to the E total and press Enter to lock it. You can see the lock symbol in the corner of the screen. If you press Enter again, it will unlock the display and it will continue to scroll through the different screens. The E-Day tells you how many kilowatt hours your system has generated that day. In this case, the inverter has generated 17.3 kilowatt hours so far. There is also an option to display how much that may be worth in terms of value. This particular one is set in euros. Refer to the manual if you would like to change that to Australian dollars. As you can see, there is a display for pin 1 and pin 2. For this property, we have some panels facing to the northeast and northwest. These figures are showing the amount of watts coming in from the northeast and northwest arrays. Subject to the type of installation will depend on whether you have one line or two lines of information. You can see that the watts figure is fluctuating. This is the nature of UV light. It's never stable and you will always get a movement in the number of watts. This shows the peak that the inverter has reached over its life so far. Today we are looking at a peak of 4.4 kilowatts, which gives you an idea of how the performance is going today and an expectation of how much power you are generating. This is the total output of all of the panels. You can see the fluctuation in the number of watts. And this is the E total, which shows you how much the system has produced since it was installed. By dividing this number with the amount of days you have had the system installed, will give you an average of how many kilowatt hours your system produces in a day. 